x minus 2 over 2 equals 5. Well, I'd like to get rid of that fraction. That fraction says divide by 2. So I'm going to cancel that out by multiplying by 2. And when I multiply by 2, the divide by 2 bit disappears, and we just get the top bit of the fraction. But then I need to remember to do the same thing on the other side as well, because it's like a balance. So multiplying both sides by 2, x minus 2 equals 10. But I'm not interested in what x minus 2 is. I'm interested in what x is on its own. So I'd like to get rid of the minus 2. I get rid of the minus 2 by adding 2 to both sides. And when I add 2 to both sides, I get x equals 12. x plus 3 over 3 equals 2. Well, I'd like to get rid of the fraction. The fraction says divide by 3, so the opposite of divide by 3 is times 3. So if I multiply by 3, the division disappears, and we're left with just the top bit, x plus 3. But then I need to remember to multiply the right-hand side by 3 as well, so 2 times 3 is 6, and we get x plus 3 equals 6. But I'm not interested in what x plus 3 is, I'm interested in what x is on its own. So I'm going to take away 3, and then I need to remember to do that both sides. So when I take away 3 from both sides, I get x equals 3. x minus 5 over 4 equals minus 1. Well, I'd like to get rid of the fraction. The fraction is dividing by 4. So I'm going to cancel that out by multiplying by 4. And then when I multiply by 4, it cancels out the division by 4. And we're left with just the x minus 5 on the top. But we need to remember to multiply the other side by 4 as well. So instead of minus 1, we get minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. x minus 5 equals minus 4. Well, I'm not interested in what x minus 5 is, I'm interested in what x is on its own. So I need to get rid of the minus 5, and I'll do that by adding 5. But then I need to remember to do that on both sides. So minus 4, add 5, makes 1. So x equals 1. x plus 4 over 3 equals 12. Well, I'd like to get rid of that fraction. The fraction is dividing by 3. So I'm going to cancel that out by multiplying by 3. So that we just get the bit at the top, x plus 4. But I need to remember to multiply the right-hand side by 3 as well. So 12 times 3 is 36. So we've got x plus 4 equals 36. I'm not interested in what x plus 4 is, I'm interested in what x is on its own. So I want to lose the plus 4, I'll take away 4 from both sides to get rid of the 4. And I need to remember to do that on the other side as well, so x equals 32. x minus 8 over minus 2 equals 3. So I would like to get rid of the fraction. The fraction is dividing by minus 2. So I'm going to get rid of that by multiplying by minus 2. Multiplying by minus 2, the fraction disappears, and we're left with just the x minus 8 that was on the top. But then we need to remember to multiply the right-hand side by minus 2 as well. So 3 times minus 2 is minus 6. x minus 8 equals minus 6. But I'm not interested in what x minus 8 is. I want to know what x is on its own. So I want to get rid of the minus 8. I get rid of minus 8 by adding 8 to both sides. So when I add 8 to both sides, the minus 8 disappears. And then minus 6 plus 8 gives you 2, so x equals 2. x 
x plus 6 over 3 equals 0. Well, I'd like to get rid of the fraction. The fraction is dividing by 3, so I'm going to cancel that out by multiplying by 3. Multiplying by 3, the fraction disappears and we're left with just the top bit, x plus 6. And then multiplying by 3 on the other side, 0 times 3 is still 0, so x plus 6 equals 0. Now, I'm not interested in what x plus 6 is. I want to know what x is on its own. If I want to get rid of the 6, I'll take away 6 from both sides. And when I take away 6 from both sides, I get x equals minus 6. x minus 7 over minus 3 equals 2. Well, I'd like to get rid of the fraction. The fraction says divide by minus 3, so I'm going to cancel that out by multiplying by minus 3. If I multiply it by minus 3, it cancels out the dividing by minus 3, so you're just left with the top, x minus 7. But then we need to multiply the right-hand side by minus 3 as well in order to maintain the balance. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, and we've got x minus 7 equals minus 6. So I don't want to know what x minus 7 is, I want to know what x is on its own. So I'd like to get rid of the minus 7. I'll get rid of the minus 7 by adding 7 to both sides. So x equals minus 6 plus 7 makes 1. So x equals 1. x plus 4 over minus 4 equals minus 1. Well, I'd like to get rid of the fraction. The fraction is dividing by minus 4, so I'll cancel that out by multiplying by minus 4. Multiplying by minus 4 cancels out the, the division, so you're just left with the top, x plus 4. But we need to remember to multiply the right-hand side by minus 4 as well. Minus 1 times minus 4 makes 4, because minus times minus makes plus. So you've got x plus 4 equals 4. Well, I'm not interested in what x plus 4 is. I'm interested in what x is on its own. So I'm going to take away 4 from that to get the x on its own. But I need to remember to do the same on the other side. And when I take away 4 from both sides, I'm left with x equals 0.